Hello everyone, it's your options guy. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about pounce here, and then we're going, to, we're going to talk about whether if it's like a slow stock. Why is it a slow stock? Why hasn't there been any movement lately? Why why is um, the price not at thirty or forty where everyone expects it to be, or at least that's where I see more more uh, retail bulls like being like, hey, it should be thirty by this week or forty by this week and stuff like that. Anyway, so we'll we'll do like um, some quick analysis into pounds here, trying to get a better understanding on like the best price points of like where support is, where resistance, and then we'll just cover basically like my thoughts on why I think it's been slow lately and the the next catalyst that's that's coming up for for this stock, and of course whether you should buy or not, and then we'll we will also review some option data, try to take a look at like what's going on with options uh, especially relating to pounds here we'll also cover any recent news with pounds here and then i'll show you guys my portfolio and then do like a a deeper um analysis on my portfolio and what i'm doing with pounds here stuff like that so uh real quick i just want to say uh thank you guys we or i passed 700 subscribers um i think just today so thank you guys for the support i actually never expected to even be anywhere remotely close to this many subscribers in like uh somewhat of a short amount of time just started and and if you've been following me clearly you know that i'm not like the best at public speaking i'm just speaking like you know live whatever my thoughts are at the moment and then i just go with it but anyway so again thanks for the support all right so let's get into it so pounds here it's been really slow lately and i feel like um the longer we drag out the um, it's it's good and bad news so the the bad news is the longer we drag out the more retail investors kind of tend to like shy away from the stock and then they like leave it and they're, they're like you know what it's not making me that much money i want to pull my money out go somewhere else and then especially if like you you bought like at the top and then you've been like back holding since then you know and you just see like this long drag out and then you're probably like thinking like man i could be making money if i just put like an app or something you know because apple's been going up like crazy but um i want to show you guys that it's uh it's also a good thing because the longer that we consolidate usually that that is a good uh chance that we're gonna like spike up like with any news or anything that comes up that's good you know so like as you can see here when we, when pounds here first came out it was just like slow dragging out for a couple months and then there was news that like arc started buying and then that caught the eye of a bunch of retailers and then a bunch of youtubers started talking about it and then it kind of like caused like this whole surge of buying and then it like stagnated a little bit again and then and then it came like this huge flood for like a week or so of like a uh, bunch of buyers just coming in and then then there was like the, the catalyst that came out about the whole um um stock lockup period and everything and then it cost like a huge down downtrend and it started coming back up and then it was like the tech sell off and then huge downtrend but now i want to show you guys that we've had very important um support price points uh which i marked with like this little red circle so here 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 and here so in all these times we've kind of hit like almost like the same price points just a little bit above 21 dollars and that basically indicates that it's a good support at least for now until we get the next big uh the next catalyst which is the, the earnings play so as you can see here basically this also led up to somewhat of an earnings play and then it kind of died so i guess there was too much or the expectations were too high and somewhat already priced in into earnings and then usually when it's, when that happens to a stock it has to like super exceed expectations in order to keep going it even if it meets expectations or if it does rel relatively well it will still go down even um just because there's been like too much hype uh built into the stock you know so the good thing though is that i feel like lately there hasn't been that much news coverage or that much hype regarding pounds here so we're not going into earnings with like high expectations this time around if anything it's somewhat like low to medium expectations um personally i have high <coughs> higher expectations but i'm talking about like the overall census it's like low to medium and, and that could be a good thing because 
Palantir comes out with like crazy good earnings, then and no one expected that, you know, then it's gonna cause like an influx of buyers to jump in. But um, either way, I just want to show you guys that the 21 has been a, a strong support. We've hit that multiple times, and um, I feel like going into earnings, um, you should kind of be careful, especially if you're doing options. But either way, going into earnings, I feel like we may may um, push up even higher if we can pass this 24.40, 24.50 resistance around here. As you can see, we're we're somewhat in in like this uh, almost breakout type of wedge thing where we can, we can either go back up or come back down and then we're still playing around within this 2240 2440 that $2 difference range we're still playing here so we're expecting a breakout from a 2440ish around there and then the next line of resistance that I have plotted is around 2570 2580 around there so we definitely need to break out into this again and I feel like that could happen some somewhat similar to what happened over here where we broke out for a little bit we hit like 26 and then came back down but this was because of the double click demo day anyway something very similar could happen due to like the earnings coming up and the earnings is coming up in two weeks by the way so as you can see here it says pounds here announces data first quarter 2021 earnings release and a conference call so it says here that first quarter ended march 31st 2021 um sorry the results for the first quarter will be released on tuesday may 11th and this is prior to market open so they did this last time around so usually they, they do it like a pre-market open so just keep in mind it's may 11th and that's actually like i think just under two weeks away so um if you're doing options i think I think it's probably maybe wait for well we did have like somewhat of a dip today but maybe if there's like another big dip you know I, I, I would most likely buy in myself because usually the week of earnings that's when IV tends to go up more and um, the higher the IV and if you have calls or something then and the stocks going up and and the IV goes up then that just makes your overall options go up so it's good and um, either way I Personally, I like to buy out of the money. I'm sorry, out of the money. Super in the money and far out expiration. So as you can see here, I have Palantir. Um, three calls for January 21st. I've actually had four, I think. I think it was in the beginning of the week I had four. It was either the beginning of the week or last Friday. I had some, but then I closed them out because I just wanted to lock in some profits. I think I locked in like 250 or $300 profit for those but then either way um right now i'm negative 90 but i'm just waiting as we get closer and closer turning so i feel like this will be hopefully green and then um as you can see here i have 700 shares pounds here and i've been trying to get up to a thousand at least and uh yeah and then uh, my um my chart here <laughs> for today is a little wonky because i i was playing dogecoin in the morning but just because of the whole like Elon Musk news and everything, and I just closed it out. I'm not really into like crypto as of right now, but I just closed it out. Made like 30 bucks a day, just extra for for fun. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, pounds here again. It's been very slow lately. I feel like the the next catalyst is the earnings, and then whether it's good or whether it's bad, that's gonna be like where the the next big movement will be. So. If it's good earnings and if it's beat expectations because right now there's not that many like high expectations for it anyways but if it if it has really good results i feel like it's gonna gap up potentially into the high 20s if not maybe 30s if it's like mediocre um or if they report like a loss or something or like a really bad loss then we could possibly see this even break the 21 support or we'll see what happens but either way, if we do that, I'll be I'll be locked and loaded and wait waiting for the, for that to happen to buy more. But anyways, as you can see here for options for today, overall bullish sentiment. I think a lot of um I think in the morning like everything just dropped because of the whole um, anticipation for the J Powell meeting and everything. And that's why a lot of top the stocks just dropped and then after that then they kind of came back up and then some of them were rallying rallying and everything so i think that's where like most people started buying uh, calls and everything excuse me so 
yeah anyway so let's take here let's take a look at here at what happened for like the main bullish flow if it loads yeah all right so apple clear winner today facebook has also been um lot, lots of orders for that i don't know what mdlz is i haven't looked into that but something that's interesting is amazon has came up and amazon is usually doesn't um i normally don't see amazon here amd came up crm is also another thing that's interesting that came up in case if you guys are playing crm there are multiple calls today at 190 that came in 190 190 190 190 and pretty big orders this one's almost like a million and same with this one this one so yeah crm might be might be gapping up even higher anyway so let's see where's palantir here's here's palantir right here so palantir didn't have that many orders today so the orders have been coming in less and less i think that may be a bad thing but um i haven't really been seeing any premium orders for palantir come in and but either way th these were the ones for today so the only one that's super far out the money is this 42 strike for 121 which is kind of funny because i have same expiration but mine's more like in the money and um yeah that's pretty much it it's just like they're like super in the money a little bit out the money a little bit out the money there's not that much going on but that's pretty much it for the option side but anyways if you like this video please give a like if you haven't already subscribed want to help out the channel go ahead and subscribe i'm trying to get to a thousand at least by the end of this year but anyways thanks a lot either way and i'll see you guys in the next video